Wow, that was a bit real. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hi guys, this is my review for Barton Fink. Now this was a suggestion from one of my Patreon supporters, Shannon Miller. The theme was films that came out 30 years ago, 1991. Her suggestion was Barton Fink. What is this one of the earlier films that the Coen brothers did? And in fact, it's actually one of their most highly acclaimed from the 90s. This one, The Palme d'Or, the highest acclaim award that you can win at the Cannes Film Festival. It's pretty much one of the most prestigious awards that any film can garner, and I can understand why. The film follows Barton Fink, a New York stage writer who is invited to go out to Hollywood to write a picture for one of the big major Hollywood picture motion picture companies. What starts off as kind of this interesting little adventure turns into a realization of the hellish landscape that is the entire facade that is Hollywood. The butchery, the narcissism, the backstabbing, the highly acclaimed egos, the falseness of everything that is Los Angeles in the Hollywood landscape comes crushingly down on Barton. He navigates through this nightmare, this live nightmare, while trying to defeat his own case of writer's block because of all of these incredibly bizarre and fascinatingly horrific events that are happening all around him. I would definitely say this is a very, very good example of a black comedy because there's a lot of parts that made me laugh out loud watching this by myself when I really probably maybe shouldn't have. There's a lot of dark humor in this film. It's definitely got the staple marks of everything that made the Coen brothers what they are. And it's got some very great performances. John Toretto is the focus point of this film, being Barton Fink, being this fish out of water in this world. John Goodman is his estranged sort of very interesting yet very peculiar neighbor who has a lot more to him than you would think and then he comes across all these different writers actresses uh, studio heads and he just sees that no one is real everyone's a liar there's a lot of reasons to like this film not only from the humor or the portrayal of hollywood but also to the underlining kind of ideas of what makes hollywood what it is it's kind of a very big middle finger to what Hollywood used to be and technically still is. Something that I also caught on to that there is some pretty subtle yet very intriguing camera work in this. There's some angles and some shifts that make it a little bit more than just a kind of a mundane over the shoulder over the shoulder talking picture and that's because Roger Deakins is the DOP for this film and you can see that he has that creative element even though he didn't have the tech to do what he would do later on you can see the beginning of his genius in this film and I very much enjoyed the camera angles and the photography that he does for this film especially the end the end of the movie has this climax that is just so bananas but it's so well shot that I can't help but not just be complete awe of this movie. Is it a rewatchable film? Not entirely. I would say that you've watched it once and be like, okay, you've checked that off. Uh, actually, I'm kind of curious if it's in this. No, it's not. Hmm. That's unfortunate. That's really strange, actually. Okay, it might not be in that book, but it's still a very, very good movie. If you want to see the early start of... The Coen Brothers, this isn't the first major film, but it is one of the first major films that got super acclaim. I would definitely suggest watching it. It's an interesting watch. It's a great insight to the early days of Hollywood, as well as a little bit of the current day. It's funny. It's dark, but it's funny. In the end, though, my final rating for Barton Fink is a 6 out of 7. It is a very good movie. It is a very enjoyable movie. It is a very well-made movie. It's just not one that I would put on again and again and again. Honestly, I don't think I'll ever watch it again, but I'm happy that I did. And thank you, Shannon, for the suggestion. This was a really good movie to suggest. Thank you so much for that. And if you guys would like a say in what I review next time in my Patreon polls, you can check out my Patreon. There's a link to it in the description below, and you can consider being a supporter. Otherwise, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, See you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign.
But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.